Welcome back to What's Now. We are rounding out our business episode today talking about how to achieve financial simplicity. Well, you may need to do a wallet edit. I spoke with a home organizer as well as an educator with finance all about this. Some great ideas on how to simplify and organize. Let's take a look. Right now, we are focusing on the best place to start making life as simple, which is with your finances. You can get yourself on track for financial simplicity with a wallet edit using top 10 tips from duo financial and organizational experts. And here joining us today to tell us all about this is Marsha Barnes, certified financial social worker, financial educator, and personal finance commentator. Joining her is Jen Roban, professional home organizer and founder at CEO of Life in General. Thank you so much, Marsha and Jen, for joining us today. Thank, Thank you for coming. having us. <laughs> So what are the best ways for consumers to declutter, especially in their own wallets? Jan, would you like to take that one? Yes, absolutely. So that that feeling where you get when you pull some you pull out your wallet, whether you're at a grocery store or a retail store, of having that feeling of being overwhelmed. So going back to the basics of knowing what you have, and if receipts are flying all the way and you don't know what cards you you own, it's really taking the time to do a wallet edit. And what that means is scheduling it in and really understanding like where you can put it in your calendar, taking the time, taking a step back pulling everything out of your wallet, sorting and categorizing, and then discarding items that you're not using or needing, then you're installing back in. And the biggest thing is maintaining. So you, like I said, making sure that you're maintaining it, not just weekly, monthly, but yearly and understanding what you're using and not using. How do people know they need a wallet makeover? Well, I think a key indicator is if your wallet is bursting at the seams. That's number one. So if you can barely close it, that's a clear sign. Another great way to identify if you need a wallet edit, let's say you're out shopping and you get up to the cashier and you begin to pull out like all of these coupons that you that may have expired. Maybe you pull out gift cards that have been collecting dust and they have expired or not. And then maybe you're pulling out credit cards, but you feel a little bit cloudy around what you should be using. What that is, what that's telling you internally is that you really have no idea of what's inside of your wallet and how it's bringing you any type of value. So those are two quick indicators of how you can identify if you actually need a wallet edit. Why is a wallet edit important, especially during the trend of this pandemic purging? Well, it's so important because while we are somewhat coming out of a pandemic, one thing that many of us learned during the pandemic is the importance of being a conscious consumer, being financially aware. So it's really important at this moment because we all wanna know if we're spending our money, is it bringing us value or any great joy from it? And then also if you have membership cards or credit cards, are you really using those benefits and getting you know, great rewards from them? So for example, with the new Wells Fargo Active Cash Credit Card, it gives you 2% cash back rewards on all pur purchases. So it doesn't matter if you're traveling, if you're at the grocery store, it's unlimited no matter what. There are no blackout periods, there are no categories to consider, so it's somewhat doing the work for you. So for anyone that's tuning in, they could learn more about the Wells Fargo Active Cash Credit Card by visiting wellsfargo.com forward slash active cash. And Jen, what are the top decluttering trends and spending habits during the pandemic and outlook for post-COVID? No doubt about it is people want to simplify, you know, coming out of the pandemic, you know, they the priorities have shifted. They're looking at their homes differently. And now they're also looking at their finances, you know, with a different microscope. And so understanding what they have and what they do spend money on is really important. So people are going back to the basics of of really simplifying and streamlining, you know, not only their home life, but their financial life as well. Mm -hmm. And Marcia, any other tips for us about this wallet edit? Yeah, I would say that, you know, Wells Fargo brought Jen and I together to host free wallet edit workshops to help you with exactly what we're speaking of today, to simplify your finances. The very first workshop kicks off this Thursday on my Instagram channel at the Finance Bar at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And there'll be another one in a couple of weeks on Jen's Instagram channel on August 5th. Jen, would you like to share your information as well? 
Yes, and that's at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at Life in General on the Instagram channel. And everything people need to know, again, is at wellsfargo.com forward slash active cash. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Marcia and Jen, for joining us today. I really appreciate this important information about simplicity, organizing our finances. It's so important for our overall well-being. Thank you for joining us today. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us.